today's video, I'm going to show you how to colorize and restore old images in Comp UI with my custom workflow. Right, so this is just going to be a quick video following up my video from last week about reimagining any image. And we're actually going to be using the same workflow from last week's video with a few tweaks. And I want to thank user UK3D for this idea in the comments. And I just wanted to mess around with it and just kind of see what kind of effects I could get. And this is also just a good example of how versatile this workflow is. This is just one of the many things you can do with it. If you want to see a more in-depth overview of this workflow, check out my video from last week. And this is just going to be fun kind of going over the changes. So you can see we got good old Nikola Tesla right here. Uploaded a old kind of a classic image, just grainy black and white. And what we've done is in our source prof, we've said an old grainy black and white photo of a handsome Serbian man with a mustache. The reason I didn't say Nikola Tesla is because for some figures, there are only black and white photos of them. And so you can kind of pull the weights in that direction and it can be hard to get colorized images. So I just tend to describe the character without using their name. And there you go. Old grainy black and white photo of a handsome Serbian man with a mustache. Excellent. And now let's take a look at what we're doing in the destination prompt. We're just saying a color photo of a handsome Serbian man. So basically we've taken out old grainy black and white and we've replaced that with color. And then we've taken old grainy and black and white and put them in the negative prompts. And it is as simple as that. You run it. I'm just using a guidance of two here with the depth control nut and the align our control nut with quite low strength here. And you can see we get a colorized version of Mikola Tesla. And you might want to try messing around with different depth map preprocessors. I've found that Zoe and Lorez could be uh, useful as well for different situations, but I'd say always start with the Midas that tends to work the best for most applications. And if you're having some issues with the background disappearing, you might try Lorez. And if Lorez and Midas aren't giving you what you want, give Zoe a try and see how it works. And that's it. So if you want to check out the more in-depth overview of this workflow to get a good understanding of how it works, go ahead and check out my video from last week. And I'll go ahead and share all the necessary links in this description to get this working for you. Enjoy.